Many cells in the body seem to function quite well despite low levels of rituxan. However, certain cells of the spinal cord, brain, and heart are badly affected. Some of these cells stop functioning over time, and some needed for toxin to develop correctly in the first place. This seems to be the case for some of the very specialized nerve cells in the spinal cord, the primary sensory neurons. These special cells collect information about what's going on inside and outside the body and they bring that information to a specific place in the spinal cord called the dorsal root ganglia, or DRG. The DRGs transfer this information to the brain. This transfer of the information allows us to sense where our body is in space. This is referred to as proprioception. Dr. Massimo Pandolfo and his colleagues at University Libre de Brussels in Belgium received a grant from FARA to use induced pluripotent stem cells or iPSCs to grow and study FA sensory neurons. iPSCs have the potential to mature into almost any type of cell in the body, including heart, brain, or spinal cord cells. And in another video, we learned how we can use the iPSCs to study FA. Dr. Pandolfo and his team are trying to figure out the changes that occur in FA sensory neurons during development and after the cells mature, as they address the question of why these particular cells are so affected by free tax and loss. This information will help us better understand how we might stop or reverse the damage caused by FA. Many thanks to all the patients and families who donated cells and to the community for raising funds and awareness to support this important research tool. The project we just learned about is One Seed, One Tool, funded by your donations, championed by your engagement and your direct participation in FA research that is necessary to plant, tend, and nourish our garden of therapeutics. Thank you, FA community, for bringing us closer to treatments.